Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you all how to troubleshoot your Shark IQ 1001 main brush motors if they're giving you trouble. So first thing is once you get them out, which I have videos on how to disassemble them, check for any kind of cuts in the wires and make sure this wire is good. Next, you're going to need a small Phillips head and check for dirt. These are notorious for getting dirt inside their cases. So a small Phillips head and remove the three Phillips head screws for the back plate. Now these are different than any of the other motors if you watch my videos. And they are kind of a pain to work on compared to the old ones, but they're not that bad. So let's go ahead and Got those out, now we're gonna take this off. We have a gear assembly here, onto a belt, onto the pulley. So, this big gear and this little gear are driven by this, this uh, uh, belt. You wanna move it, see if it sticks anywhere, if there's any uh, melted marks. This sensor right here is a little bit of a um, temperature sensor that's right in here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if the motor gets too hot, it shuts the rope out down. Um, that was the big issue with the older models is they would melt. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but just be fair warned. It's a lot less common. So if, you're, if your belt's worn, you just cut it, put a new one on. But if it's not worn, you can slide it off and on um, from this big gear. It's, you have to get a flat head and work it around. You can get a flat head pull it like that and work it around um, putting a new belt on is kind of a pain let's see if I can get this one off in this video try not to make this video too long okay so first thing you're gonna do put on the black gear start it on the white one and just spin it like you would a bicycle chain and it will pop right on so that's how to do that guys and then you just put the case back together start it up see what the issue is more than likely if this if you don't have a broken belt on this one you're gonna have a burnt up motor or a bad sensor if that sensor is bad that could cause some errors too but generally speaking I'm gonna say water on the motor or a bad belt is gonna be your main issue or a bunch of dirt in there dirt and dog hair these things are terrible um, when it comes to getting dirt and dog hair and stuff in them you can prevent that by um, putting a little bit of uh, electrical grease around there and it will stop it, but it will make a mess as it builds up So you do have to keep it clean, but it will stop it from getting inside the case and burning it up So that's how to check your shark IQ 1001 AE Main brush motor in assembly. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this video helped if it did hit that like button if it didn't I'm sorry